everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we are making this cute little carrot amigurumi. Earlier, um, for the February Pony Valentines, I made a little bunny, a uh, love bunny, and he was holding a heart, and I thought it would be cute if you made a bunny that was holding a carrot as well. So I wanted to make a carrot amigurumi. You can make this with the bunny, or you can make this on its own for some food amigurumis. Um, this is a cute little vegetable, and it's fun, and I put little googly eyes on it so it's even more fun. I'm just using two colors today, the carrot orange and then the spring green color. Big thank you to Red Heart Yarns for providing this yarn today. I'm using, like I said, this is legit called carrot. <laughs> and the green is called spring green. And that's what I'm thinking lately is about spring. I miss spring and I want it to be back. So it's very cold here in Wisconsin, but I am uh, hoping for spring to come very soon. I am also in this project going to be using a G size crochet hook, which is uh, 4.25 millimeters. So make sure you have that. I used this hook in all of the Pony Valentine videos and this crochet hook is ergonomic, hand-carved, hand-crafted, and it is from the Etsy shop Would Be Fancy. There are different size hooks you can get. They are fixed in to the handle, so you basically choose which size you want, and then they make the handle just like this, and it's so nice to crochet for long periods of time. I use this hook all the time, you guys. It's awesome. You're also going to need a, a scissor and a yarn needle, so make sure you have those. And on this carrot, I put some googly eyes, so you can grab some googly eyes and some glue and just glue on them. Or you can embroider some eyes. Dun 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 dun! <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's silly. But anyway, yeah, you can grab some googly eyes and some glue and just tacky glue them on or fabric glue them on. Uh, stuffing this um, little carrot here, I used some polyfill, so just some regular polyfill. Some people use actual like yarn scraps for polyfill to stuff their carrots as, or stuff their pieces, their amigurumis as well, so you can do that. But I used some actual polyfill. So those are all the supplies you're going to need. If you need to, check out the links in the description of this video to get all these supplies supplies, links to where you can get them, plus links to my social media, so make sure you follow me on Facebook and Instagram. You should follow me on Snapchat too. I am Yarn Utopia on Snapchat, so you can get the updates on when we, you know, do things behind the scenes here at Yarn Utopia headquarters, aka my home. So make sure you check out my Snapchat. And uh, yeah, thanks to Red Heart Yarns. A big thank you to my dad back there for filming and being so goofy <laughs> back there with the eye little thing. Are you going to do it again? Let me zoom right in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's get started and make our last Pony Valentine. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Let's make this carrot right now. All right, let's start out with this orange, this carrot orange color. And we're gonna start off by making a slip knot. So put your short end over your long end, then fold this down over the long end and pull that long end through. And then you can pull the short end tight and it creates a slip knot. Perfect. So you can insert your hook into this loop and then pull your long end and it tightens around your hook just like that. So let's start out by chaining two. So yarn over and pull through one and two. And in that second chain from the hook right here, we are going to put four single crochets. So go into that chain, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, that's a single crochet. So go back into that same chain there, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two. So there's two, Here's three and four. Awesome. Now I'm going to stick a little different color piece of yarn in here. I actually have a scrap of this spring green here actually. So I'm going to stick that in here just to mark my rounds. If you have a legit stitch marker like those plastic ones or there's sometimes those metal like or there's a paper clip or something you can stick right in here just to mark your rounds you can do that. 
Now on this next round, we are going to work in each stitch just one single crochet, but um, I notice a carrot, a legit, like a real carrot, I say legit all the time, but a real carrot has like these ribs around it. And so I'm going to work in these back loops for this whole project here. If you can see here, this is a back loop right here. This is a back loop right here. We usually work through both loops. You can see front loop and back loop like this. But the loop that's furthest away from you is actually the back loop right there. Okay, back loop here. My thumbnail is on this back loop right here. Okay, so we're going to work in the back loops only of this whole project because carrots kind of have a ribbing on them. So we're going to go into this first stitch right here and we're going to single crochet. We're just putting one single crochet in each stitch around to make that pointed tip quite pointed. So there's one single crochet in that stitch. Hop to the next stitch right here and back loop only make a single crochet. Then hop to this next stitch here, okay, back loop only, single crochet in there. And the next stitch, our last stitch here, back loop only, single crochet. Okay, and that was round two. This project is going to go so quick, quickly. We're going to move our stitch marker up right now. And going on to round three, we are going to increase now to six stitches. So we're going to actually go and put two single crochets in this first stitch right here in the back loop only. So put one and go back into that same stitch for two. Okay, then hop to the next stitch and just put one single crochet in there. So just one. Then in this la this next stitch right here, sorry, next stitch right here, put two single crochets, one and two. And the last stitch on this round, we are going to just put one single crochet. So after the end of round three, you should have six single crochets around now, okay? You can see that this is making the point, and now we can go on to round four. Round four is a repeat of round two. We are going to just work in each of the back loops here and just put one single crochet into each stitch for a total of six stitches still on this round. So I'm almost there, I just have three stitches left. Just putting a single crochet in the back loop only. Perfect. And that was really quick. Now we're on to the next round. So this next round, round five, we are going to increase to 12 stitches. So at this point, we want to put two single crochets in each stitch around. And remember, back loops only. So put two single crochets in this first stitch right here, and just repeat that all the way around. So two single crochets in the next stitch, back loop only. Two single crochets in this next stitch here, one and two, two single crochets in here, so in each stitch. So at the end of round five, you'll have 12 single crochets. Awesome. Now for rounds six and seven, the next two rounds, we are just going to single crochet in each one. So let's move our stitch marker up and I'm just going to put one single crochet into each stitch around for rounds six and round seven. So I'm just going to do that off cam and then I'll meet you back up when I'm going on to round eight. All right, I just did rounds six and round seven, working in the back loops only. You can see that ribbing effect really nicely in there. And uh, now we're going to go on to round eight. So let's move our stitch marker up and we are going to increase. So let's put two single crochets in this next stitch right here. Remember back loops only, so one and two. And then just put one single crochet in the next stitch. And then just repeat that sequence all the way around. So put two single crochets in the next stitch and then one single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, and just repeat. So two single crochets in the next stitch and then let me get some more yarn and <laughs> put one single crochet in the next. Then two single crochets in the next and then one single crochet in the next and always working in the back loops only and at the end of this round you will have 18 single crochets 
and that is our increase. That's all the amount we're going to increase now. So now, once you're finished with round eight, I just got back to the beginning here, you can see my stitch marker. I'm gonna move my stitch marker up, and for rounds nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14, the next six rounds, we are just going to put one single crochet in each stitch around, in the back loops only, just like this, and I'm going to do that for rounds nine, nine through 14. Okay, so when I finish round 14, I'll meet you up and we'll go on to decreasing for round 15. All right, I just finished rounds 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 here. So moving the stitch marker up, we are going to go on to round 15. We are going to decrease now. So let's single crochet these first two stitches together. So what we're going to do is go into this first stitch right here, yarn over, pull through, and go into the next stitch, and then yarn over and pull that through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook just like that and there is a single crochet two together stitch or a single crochet decrease. Now we're going to single crochet into the next stitch, just a regular single crochet, and we're going to repeat that sequence all the way around. So single crochet two together, so yarn over, pull through, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops, and then single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, then single crochet two together, and single crochet in the next stitch. Then single crochet two together, and single crochet in the next stitch. And just keep doing that all the way around, and you should have 12 single crochets at the end of round 15. And I'm almost there, just one more repeat here. And when you finish round 15, I'm actually going to pull up this loop and remove my hook for a second. We want to stuff this thing because um, it is going to get pretty tight and it is going to be, uh, you're unable to stuff it at the next round, really, because we're going to be fastening off after the next round. So you just want to take some polyfill and stuff it inside of this carrot. Okay. Let's see. All right, just make sure you have enough. Don't overstuff it. There we go. Make sure your carrot is nice and pointed. It's so cute <laughs> already. I love it. Okay, now going on to our last round, we are going to insert our hook back in here, pull this tight, and you can move your stitch marker up if you need to. It's going to get quite tight in here, so now what we're going to do is single crochet two together six times. So single crochet two together, here's one. Single crochet two together, here's two. Single crochet two together, there's three. These next two stitches together is four. Okay, two more here. This is five. And these last two are six. Awesome. Now at this point, if you want to just remove your stitch marker, you can. There you go. Straighten this out. And what we're going to do now is single crochet the first and the fourth stitches together. So this first stitch right here, and right across the way there's the fourth stitch. So there's one, two, three, four, five and six, six stitches all the way around. This one is the first one. This is two, this is three and four. So the first and fourth stitch together. So yarn over, pull through both of those layers and then yarn over and pull through two loops. And then to fasten off, we're gonna chain one and cut this yarn, let me cut this right about there and pull it all the way through that chain one there and pull tight and then you can just grab your hook into one of the stitches here on the side and hook on that piece right there and pull it to the inside of your carrot okay and kind of just push that down okay but it's not going to be a carrot without some green yarn here so i'm going to grab the green yarn i'm going to set this aside and we are going to make the leaves 
for our carrot. So this is super simple. What we're going to do is make a slip knot. I showed you how to do that earlier in this tutorial. And we are going to chain 10. So yarn over and pull through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And in the second chain from the hook and across, we are going to single crochet. So the loop on the hook doesn't count, so count one and two. And I'm gonna just turn my chain toward me and work in these back ridges, okay? So I'm gonna single crochet across here. So there's one, next chain, two, Here's three. If I'm going a little fast, you can always pause this and catch up. Here's four, five, next chain, six, seven, eight, and nine. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is chain 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and do the same thing. So single crochet in the second chain from the hook and all the way down to the beginning here. So I'm gonna go a little bit faster on this second little leaf here. Oopsie. Three, here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine. And what I actually want you to also do when you get back to the bottom here is single crochet where that first one is right here where the slip knot is, go into here and single crochet in there as well. Just like that. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing that we did for this one again. So chain 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and, and 10, there we go. So then we're gonna single crochet into the second chain from the hook and all the way back down. So there's nine single crochets here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine and then we're going to do that same thing we're going to go back to this first chain right here where the slip knot is and we're going to single crochet in there oopsie go in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two so if you want more of these leaves you can add as many as you want just repeat what we did for these ones okay but i'm just going to have the three so i'm going to chain one at this point and cut my yarn kind of long actually for sewing and then pull that all the way through and pull tight so i, cu I cut it about eight to ten inches uh about uh, that much and then what we're going to do now is yarn our needle with that long strand that we just cut there and we're going to go, you can see that it's like really um, like three pieces. We want them to kind of come all the way up together. So you can kind of shape it how you want it to be. Okay, they kind of are curling too. So we want to curl them, but not so much all in the same direction, kind of like this. So I'm going to hold these with one hand together. Okay, and I'm going to take the yarn needle and I'm just going to go through these stitches and just kind of make it so that they stay together a little bit just like that okay and they could be random because you know carrot leaves are kind of random and then we're going to grab our carrot and stick this right at the top here okay right at the top and we are going to just sew this in right about here okay so go into the carrot and then out to the the leaves here and just kind of whip stitch this very simply. I mean, it's it's not super difficult to sew um, this piece on. Okay. Oops, there we go. And we're gonna use this strand to tie a knot in a minute here. I just wanna go again one more time. And that should be good. Make sure it just looks good and is up. <laughs> it looks kind of random, but that's good. You want it to look kind of random. 
because the, they are stuck in the ground and not very perfect. So now we're just going to go back into this back area. So I'm turning this around here to the back and I'm pulling this through. And then I'm going to take this strand and this strand and tie a knot just together, just like that. So they are secure. Then I'm going to cut them the same size. Oops. Okay. And then I'm just going to take, you know, I could just take my, actually, yeah, I'll take my yarn needle and yarn my needle with these two strands and then just go into the carrot and out the bottom and pull it through all the way and then stretch it out so these get hidden right here and there you go a cute little baby carrot <laughs> how fun now I just want to add some um, googly eyes I know I told you earlier you can add some googly eyes Oops, let me get rid of my glue here I'm going to Oh, come on, glue. My glue all hardened up on me. There we go. Sorry, I'm not showing this on camera here. But just some a little bit of tacky glue on the back of a googly eye. And then just stick it onto your carrot. Or if you wanted to, you can embroider your eyes as well. There we go. <laughs> Little googly eyes though add some character. You can use safety eyes as well, um, but I think embroidering eyes would also help if, if like little babies were going to be um, using this. Um, and googly eyes sometimes can you know fall off if you glue them. But uh, this is so cute. Thank you so much for watching and learning how to make this. I gotta let my little googly eyes dry now, but that was so fun and easy. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy your little baby carrots. If you make this, make sure to share a photo on Facebook and on Instagram and hashtag Yarn Utopia so I can see your cute little carrots. How fun! Thanks to Red Heart Yarns for providing the yarn today. A big thank you to my dad behind my shoulder who is editing and filming all these tutorials for us. I had so much fun with the punny valentines. If you haven't seen them already, just check out yarnutopia.com, search Valentine, and you'll see all the punniness all over the website. It's so fun and so funny. So make sure to check that out. And I hope you all have a happy Valentine's Day. I love you all. <laughs> all right, until next time, happy hooking!